Hi, everyone. We are starting a discussion about modules in Python. So what are modules? Let's imagine a situation that in some Python file, we have developed many, many functions and sometime later in another Python file that we are currently working with, we want to actually use those functions implemented in another file. And so one basic and straightforward solution seems that we can simply copy the code of those functions from one file and transfer them to another. But it doesn't seem to be a very efficient solution because we are simply rewriting the same code. And it turns out that if we have already got some code, then it can be easily accessed through other files. And there is no need to copy or rewriting the same stuff again. So when we import some function from another Python file, this file from which we are importing can be considered a module, okay? So a module is simply a, some readily available code that has been developed before. And in our current file, we can simply import the functionality of that code. So for example, let's create another Python file and let's call it script underscore two dot pi. And in this new Python file, let's define some basic function, for example, a function for addition. Let's say it will take two numbers. And what it will do, we will simply print the sum of those two numbers. Okay, a very, very basic function developed in the file called script underscore two dot pi. And now in our main script dot pi file, let's try to use the functionality of that function. So if we just try to write something like this and run our code, we'll get an error. Because we say that the name add is not defined. We don't see anything here. So there is a special command that will help us to import an actual module. So in our case, the script underscore two dot pi file. And after importing it, we can use the function defined in that file. So let's use this command. We simply write import, and then we write the name of our module, okay? And modules are Python files in our case, and so we just need to write the name of this file without the .py extension. We just write the name of the file. And now this file is imported, and we can try to run the code again. But again, we see an error. So what is happening? Well, we imported the module, but we will see that it still has our add name is underlined, meaning that it has not been defined yet. And the cause of it is if we want to use some specific function from the module before that function, we need to write the name of the module. So we actually need to write the name of our module, then dot and the name of our function. So again, Let's go over the steps. We just created our new file, wrote a function inside of it. Then we imported that file without the extension using the import command. And if we wanted to use some function from this file, we just write the name of the file dot and the name of our function with the given arguments. And then running the code, we finally see that number 30 is outputted here in the terminal. And actually, there is no restriction on how many modules can be imported into the same file. For example, we can create just another Python file, say it can be script underscore three dot pi. And here, let's just create another function uh, called subtraction. Why not? And so it will simply arrange the difference between the numbers A and B, okay? So saving the file, we again can try to import it here. We just import script underscore three. And now we can also try to call the sub function from script underscore three. And if we give to it the same arguments, now we will also expect 
the number 10 to be outputted in the terminal. And running the code, we see the necessary results. So here is the result of addition, and here is the result of the subtraction. And also, you might think that this notation may seem a little bit uncomfortable because first we need to import the whole module, and then only again we need to declare the name of the module, then dot, the name of the function, so everything gets pretty long. And also, if, for example, a module consists of thousands or millions of functions, and we just want to use a single one of them, there's actually no use in importing the whole module, import millions of functions, and just use one. And so actually, we can do partial imports. So what is that? Well, it is the process where we can import just a single function from the module, not the whole module, but only one function, or maybe a couple of functions defined there. And for example, for this function, we can try to import uh, only that. So the syntax for it is a little bit different. We just say that we write the keyword from, then again, the name of our module, and only after that, we write the keyword import. And we write the name of the function. And so from script underscore two, we have imported the add function. And now you see that script underscore two is also underlined because the whole module is not imported and can be accessed. So we can just erase this part. And now we can use the add function because it was imported singly imported without the whole module. So running the code, we again see that everything performs great. And in the same way, we can just add another function. For example, a function for multiplication in our module script underscore two dot pi, we can call it mul, and it can simply do a times b. And so now if we try to use the mul function, if we write mul, 2010, we again see that we will get an error because mul is not defined. The reason for that is that we have imported only the add function. So if we also want to add mul to it, we can import the whole module, or here we can just separate the name of the function that we want to import by commas. And so in this way, the two functions defined in script 2.py imported that way, and if we run the code, we again see the necessary results are put here in the terminal. So this is the basic use of modules. You see how convenient they can be and how short our code can be in new files if the main logic of the functions has already been developed in other files. There's no need to overwrite them. We just import the whole module or just the necessary functions from that one and easily use them in our programs. So that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.